welcome to Ruger Tech Tips. Today we're going to look at the Ruger Precision Rifle. We're going to do disassembly and reassembly on the rifle. To do so, you're going to need a well-lit area, a good clean mat. The only tools you will need is a soft-faced hammer, a set of Allen wrenches, and some type of soft tool just to push with, and of course, a good pair of safety glasses. The first thing we want to do is make sure the rifle is completely safe. Point it in a safe direction, make sure the safety is engaged, Remove the magazine. This rifle has a unique two position magazine release because they designed the rifle with the two most popular types of magazines. Open the bolt and physically and visibly check the chamber to make sure there's no live ammunition in the rifle and in the magazine. Now we're going to remove the bolt first. To do so, we'll close the bolt. There is a stock release here where we'll depress this and pivot the stock out of the way. With the stock pivoted out of the way, there is a bolt release on the left hand side of the rifle. If you depress that, you can remove the bolt from the rifle. We'll disassemble the bolt itself. There's a shroud that comes to the rear with a main bolt body in the front. I'm going to rotate the shroud about 30 degrees so it's to the center of the back side of our bolt handle. Once it's in that position, I can remove the shroud, and this contains some tools we're going to need to further disassemble the rifle. Set the shroud aside. There's a small Allen wrench in there to adjust the trigger pull, and this is a tool used to remove the firing pin from the rifle. I hold the bolt so the bolt handle is straight up in a 12 o'clock position, and I'm going to insert this tool behind the firing pin and the cocking piece and to press that to the rear. Pivot it 90 degrees. Once you've done that, you can turn the firing pin and remove it. Do not remove this tool from the firing pin assembly. Leave that together. Now, once that's out, bolt handle comes out very simple. When you reassemble the bolt, the firing pin assembly will go through the handle. It will go through it, and when you rotate it, it's going to lock into a point on the bolt handle. You want to make sure it is locked in and doesn't come out because it can release inside the bolt if it's not locked in properly. To assemble the bolt with a serial number up, install the bolt handle into the bolt body. The firing pin assembly, you'll line up the tool with the bolt handle and then you're going to rotate it about 30 degrees so the bottom of the bolt lines up with that handle and you can remove the disassembly tool. We can now build up our shroud, put our Allen wrench back inside. This will now slide around, the shroud will slide around our body. Sometimes you have to get those lined up just right to get the shroud on and then you're going to rotate the shroud back just a few degrees, you'll feel it click in place and our bolt is done. We can set that to one side. Now we're going to take the, the lower part of our rifle off the receiver and to do that there is a hole with an Allen wrench at the back of the receiver and we're going to loosen that up. Gonna open the stock up there are several Allen bolts on the side. You want to remove the one that's the frontmost Allen bolt. Do not remove the one that's just above the trigger guard. You unscrew that bolt. I'll turn the rifle upside down and lift this whole assembly right up and out. Set that aside. Next we have our trigger group and we're going to remove the trigger group itself. Comes out as one whole assembly. Before you do that, there is a J-shaped opening inside that trigger group. We're going to release the spring tension on that trigger group. So I'm just going to grab that with my fingers, release the tension. Then I can take my Allen screw and loosen that screw up. It's a shorter screw than the other two. The other two are identical. Now to remove this, there's a small piece right here that we need to depress and I can go in with a soft tool and I can push that all the way down 
And then I can take a hammer to the front and just gently tap and remove the whole trigger group as an assembly. We don't recommend you remove this any further than that. There's no further disassembly for taking that apart as far as cleaning and maintenance. That's really as far as you need to go. Reassembly is very simple. Um, when we put our trigger group back in, we have several lobes on the bottom of the trigger group that line up in the receiver. This piece here needs to be compressed to drop down in. So I'm going to lift that up and just tap this forward. And that'll lock in place. I take the smallest of the Allen screws in length. Snug that back up again. Once you've installed the trigger assembly, make sure to go back in and reset that spring. With our lower receiver, if you were a left-handed shooter and wanted to move the safety to the other side, it'd be simply a matter of removing that, putting it on the opposite side to go left or right. I'll put it back in for a right-handed shooter on this rifle. This will go down onto our receiver. We use one of our Allen bolts. Start with the front and screw this down and snug it up. We have to pivot our stock out of the way to get to our second bolt in the rear. Snug that up. We now can insert our bolt assembly inside the rifle, pivot our stock. Once you've reassembled it, just want to make sure everything is in working order. You have successfully disassembled and reassembled your Ruger Precision Rifle. Thanks for watching Ruger Tech Tips.